years and realms a lot and i pick a lot of information from the lord that many are not picking by the mercy of god i'll pick it so i know why all these things i'm doing many people don't understand me many some of my families are not even happy but there has been an assignment the lord has given me to ensure that the one that he showed me as the winner that is john mahama sit on the chair so i say on record i believe if there's any prophet or pastor or any man of god or woman of god who has said this uh, and has given updates consistently about this year's election yankopon edi juma die bi ahye mensa yankopon asoma mse medi juma bi emfama no juma die bi enti ena me yankopon edi fo me prophet clement testimony ma hu se gana fo bebere bu afu sa hu na gana fo bebere nso so atoba ha ni nyina ne se nia yankopon di asoma me ese me meka nkyere gana fo ni wiase nyina no meka enye bi mode na emum di yankopon bie so ana de yankopon ade ne di akyere me ena me de meka we your prophet claim a testimony a be mreka kra ni mo mo ni tu ase abato e ba beto no se ni aso fosi hye nkom e hye nkom e hye nkom an so mo hye nkom de wo hye nkom de ko npp o hye nkom de ko npp de wo hye nkom de ko ndc o hye nkom e de ko ndc na ye nim nya me kra a ni mo acha mienu ame bi ko npp ai bi so so e ko ndc obi ase yakopon se obi ase yakopon se eno na prophet claim a testimony kire se a brow shall come here, Sierra John Doman, my man, about the Dinkunim, and also being Kunim de Fabra, twenty twenty four, December, ya, about to know, ya better, you know, now near Dinkunimuno. But who such as a gun of Obi Bree, Bua Funo, would be a kind of pedicreno, Nan so only do Nim Yakupoa, was mano, Nayan two abandoning you know, and near two abandoning you, Nam Kum Dinia Bape, no bachelor mu dintia, na or Shasa and Comono, Nanakupos in Primpe Adia, and Manonia day, and Casabim. Into an wedding. On car but one who in Sembiara Ebi. I have your beautiful radio. We are going to hear Prophet Clement testimony. Hi, Ghana. How are you doing? I hope you are fine. By the grace of God. You know, I believe that in this nation, Ghana, I say without humility, uh, but I know many can bear me witness. If they um, they say there is any uh, man of God in Ghana, or maybe perhaps the world. Uh, who have really spoken about this year's elections prophetically. It is Prophet Clement's testimony. This is very unprecedented in my ministry. The first time I've ever done this back to back because the Lord gave me an instruction. I've never done this over my years in ministry and I know many people don't understand me. Many are not happy with me. Many are angry with me. A lot of enemies have been created more because of this. Many are calling me names. Some Christians, unfortunately, some pastors, some bishops, some leaders, some fathers. A lot of people are calling me names and attacking me. But they have no idea that there is a spiritual fight that we are doing for them. Like Christ, the Bible said he laid down his life for others. So what I'm doing, many don't understand. But that is the first time I've ever done this back to back. So I believe no prophet or man of God in Ghana and beyond has strictly um, spoken about this year's prophetic uh, elections back to back like myself. Now, I'm saying this because of a reason. Because um, people, like I said, are not happy with me. But the Lord told me, son, do this and make sure that the man that I showed you in the vision many times. Make sure that the man comes. So give update as I tell you. Consistently come out and speak. So I know some see it as a nuisance and all that. But after all is said and done, you will come and thank me. That is what God told me. So those of you who don't understand me and all that, and those of you who are saying so many things, listen, God has given me an assignment for this thing. It's an end time assignment that many don't understand. When God told the prophet to marry a prostitute, many didn't understand. God told the prophet to strip naked and walk, many didn't understand. God told the prophet to lie in a certain way, many didn't understand. So with the prophetic, myself as a sensory prophet and as a seer, by the grace and the mercy of God, I operate with atmospheres and realms a lot. And I pick a lot of information from the Lord that many are not picking, by the mercy of God, I'll pick it. 
So I know why all these things I'm doing, many people don't understand me. Many. Some of my families are not even happy. But there has been an assignment the Lord has given me to ensure that the one that he showed me as the winner, that is John Mahama, sit on the chair. So I say on record, I believe if there's any prophet or pastor or any man of God or woman of God who has said this uh, and has given updates consistently about this year's election and the winner and what God wants to do, uh, I'm yet to see the person. I'm saying this because I know a lot of people have been seeing my videos and all that and many are not happy. Yes, but there is an assignment and that assignment is for the kingdom, is for Jesus, is for the body of Christ, is for the nation. And in the year 2025, or after the election and the winner is declared, I will come and give you the reasons why the Lord told me to do this. For now, he has told me not to say anything until the victory is announced of the Mahama. And I will come out to say the reason why the Lord told me. He said that I should keep quiet until an appointed time. So many of you, I know there are some of my, uh, even the church members who are uh, people who are in MPP, who are in movement of change, who are in and and all that who are not happy with me, me I love you Jesus knows my heart I love you guys I love you church people God's people I love you the souls of Christ I love you with the love of Jesus and I honor you I appreciate you but I know many of you are not happy with me you're not happy with your pastor you like me as a person you like my ministry but you feel that because I'm not speaking for your party um, you are I, I don't like you I really do like you and I really like your party just that I'm on an assignment from God or I'm on an assignment from the Lord and I cannot disappoint the Lord. It's quite unfortunate that I am not in, in the same um, way with you. I wish, I wish that God would have told me to be in the way that you want it to go. But for me, by the mercy of God, I am going with what God wants. The will of God as it is in heaven must be established. So um, pardon me for all these things, but I'll come out with the reasons. After everything is said and done, that the Lord said, ensure that you will prophesy consistently into the victory of President John Muhammad. I've, I, I know I've created many enemies uh, on the Facebook, YouTube, other TikTok platforms. People, they are attacking a lot of stuff. People are saying, okay, I have to beef up my security and, you know, a lot of, you know, threat here and there and some other things coming and all that. But I am for the good of Ghana, I stand for it, and I stand for the Lord Almighty, and I stand for the Christendom, and I stand for what the Lord has told me. For about three, four years ago, when God began to show me who was going to lead the next um, phase after President Akufado. So I'm sorry for those on the other side. Don't get angry with me. I have some daughters and sons who I know they are. Um, God showed me in the vision that they are even working for the um, government in power and all that, and they like my ministry, but they feel like, you know, um, you know, they don't really, uh, they are not happy with the things when it comes to these things I've led. I don't know if this will be the last video or message God will give me, but maybe we have a few weeks to elections. If God gives me another message, I'm sorry, but I would have, come, I would have to come and update you because I'm on an assignment which is not good at, it is not good at all in the eyes of many of you. And myself, sometimes I, j I just tell God, God, I'm, my brain, I can't go and speak again. I am tired. He said, hey, go out there make this update speak speak it so um god bless you god keep you that is why I'm, I'm doing all these things don't get angry with me don't get upset with me um there is an assignment many pastors are angry like this young man of god even at the north who came to you know write a negative stuff about me that because of this i'm not using the holy spirit and i'm i'm, I'm serving some other god i was really disappointed in him but because of the love of christ i have to still uh, love him from far. And many of the pastors um, in Ghana, bishops and the fathers, they would want to disas disassociate themselves uh, from me, which I'm okay because I've, I've always been one that always is alone. I'm, I'm very much okay with that. But they have no idea that I'm fighting for all of them. And I'll come and explain later. As a seer who sees far by the mercy of God, as a prophet who picks what is about to happen, as a messenger of Christ that the Lord has shown me what is about to happen. If we don't stand, if God doesn't have a man you know, to stand in the gap. They don't know that I'm, I'm fighting for many pastors. They have no idea that I'm fighting for many churches. They have no idea that I'm fighting for the Christian. They have no idea. If you all had the idea, which God will come and show you later, and you will see the evidence later, you would come and stand behind me. 
and you would forget about the particulars and everything and you would rather pray for me you would forget about what you would have in your pocket and all that as a believer as a christian and you'd rather pray with me and stand with me god bless our homeland ghana and make our nation great and strong i love you with the love of jesus your mother prof Clavier. god bless you share this video let it be a blessing that is my short letter to anybody who is not happy with me god is making me do something very difficult that i don't even like but i have an assignment in the end it will make sense and i'll explain to you i'll tell you the reason why god bless you